Hello YouTube, today I'm taking a look at this 2019 Ram 1500 Limited. Uh, this is the top trim that Ram offers. You do have LED lighting everywhere. Headlights, low beams, high beams, fogs, daytime running lights. You get this exclusive uh, limited trim uh, piece grill, which is very nice. Front and facing camera, chrome tow hooks or recovery hooks, and then integrated uh, parking sensors. I believe with Laramie and Up, you do get uh, fender flares, so this one does have them. You have this really nice brushed looking material um, and this grayed out look on this uh, wheel. I believe it's on a Dueler HL Bridgestone, and the size is a 275-55R20. You do have plastic pieces um, behind the front wheel and then in front and behind of the rear wheel to protect against rock chips and possible uh, corrosion down the road. Uh, this vehicle does have the power deployable step, making getting in and out very easy. You do have your RAM badging and then the limited badge right there. You do have puddle lights as well as cameras under both mirrors. This vehicle does have blind spot monitoring and passive entry. So as long as you have the key with you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle just by pushing this button or pulling on the handle itself. Again, here's that those plastic pieces to protect against rock chips. Coming around back, we have the really nice LED lights as well. You do have your parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Dual exhaust, standard four and seven pin connectors. Here's your four by four badge right there. And then your limited badging over here. Here's your new updated Ram logo, as well as your backup camera and tailgate release button. Coming around to the side, you can see the beautiful flake that this color has. I believe this is their Delmonico red. I'm not 100% certain. We'll have to look when we get to the window sticker. Here is your capless fuel fill port. Overall, a real, real pretty looking truck. Let's take a look at the interior real quick. So here's the interior of this Limited. Very nice, high-end, premium materials. You have this brushed metal trim that kind of continues throughout, as well as this like blued wood looking material. And just the stitching everywhere in this truck is just immaculate. Like it just looks so well put together. Um, over here we have your standard uh, FCA lock, unlock buttons, as well as your window buttons. And then we have your mirror controls indicated by an amber light. And if you push this middle button, the mirrors will fold out and fold back in, which is nice. Speaker grill right here. This has the 19 speaker Harman Kardon premium audio group. Two seat memory. Over here we have the lighting controls for the exterior. Here we have the lighting controls for the dome map lights and then the gauge cluster brightness as well. And you can take a look at that wood trim and that brushed looking metal. Absolutely beautiful. Um, here's the instrument cluster on this Ram 1500. Um, it has blue accents with a really nice brushed looking metal. Again, your tachometer on the left, engine temperature on the left, and then your speedometer and fuel level on the right. You have this really beautiful LCD screen. Four corners are configurable to whatever you want to monitor. Looking up top, we have a beautiful leather um, dashboard. Pretty much, I'd say 80% to 85% of the dashboard is leather. Again, more speaker grills. There's your Harman Kardon audio right there. Back to the steering wheel. Really nice, soft feeling um, wood up top with leather very soft on the bottom. Over here on this side, we have the control pad for the LCD display in the middle, as well as your hands-free calling. And then here we have your uh, adaptive cruise control, as well as your regular cruise control buttons. Below that, we have your gear limiter. And like on all FCA vehicles, we have a seek or scan um, tune uh, rocker on the back of the left side. And then on the back of the right side, we've got your volume knob. This vehicle does have push button start, as well as a rotary dial shifter and a push button transfer case selector. 
Up top we have a little storage tray and a 12 volt outlet for a dash cam or a radar detector. We have this really nice wood trim again. Uh, starting up top in this piano black trim, we have your um, uh, lane keep assist off button, your hazard lights, and then your parallel park button. Moving down, we have this beautiful Uconnect 12 inch touchscreen with your physical um, heating and cooling buttons on the side. Below your physical volume knob, you have a mute button. And below the tune knob, you have a screen off button. So if you're driving at night and it's just too bright, you can turn the screen off completely. To turn it back on, just push the screen off button again. Now, when you're at home, you can select what card you want to see and where you want to see it. So if I want to switch it, I can do that. Switch it, I want to go back. I can select comfort down here. Very responsive, very awesome touchscreen display. Um, if your phone has Android Auto or Apple CarPlay capabilities, you can find that within the Apps button and go to it there. I'm going to go home. Below here we have your media controls, your um, heated seat, cool seat controls, climate controls, apps, your navigation, your phone, and your backup camera. Below that we have your integrated trailer brake control, your ride height because this vehicle does have um, air suspension. You can click it and it will go up. I just clicked to the highest setting and then up here you will see that it's indicating that it is rising. To the right of that you have your traction control off on button, tow haul mode, your rear parking sensors off, your front parking sensors off. Under that you have your compact disc CD reader as well as two USB ports, two USB-C ports and an auxiliary port. Uh, this being a limited has the wireless charging, I believe that's available on Laramie Longhorn and up. So if your phone has that capability, put it here, it'll start charging. Under that you have a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet right there. And then you have a configurable center console. Um, I believe on Laramie Longhorn and up, you actually have these lids that um, block off what's underneath. So for this one, you push it and you have access to two cup holders. Push this lid and you have access to some coin storage and some shallow storage in front of that. Moving back to the armrest, you have this beautiful limited logo with this elegant stitching. This is a tiered armrest center console system. The first lever gives you access to the shallow tier with a USB and a dimple for cord management so the passenger can keep their devices charged as well. And then under that you have access to the storage compartment down here. Um, a little Easter egg that Ram included was the previous generation of Ram trucks on this lid. If you look on the back portion as well, you have your trigonomic ratios, standard to metric conversions, as well as your fraction to decimal conversions. Coming over to the passenger seat, which is exactly like the driver's seat, you have this really nice black leather with this silver looking piping, as well as, again, just beautiful stitching. Here's a closer look at the stitching on the door panel. You do have two glove compartments. The first one, which is up top, push this button, it goes in, and you do have a LED light in there as well. Down here, standard glove box. Up top, you have halogen lit vanity for the passenger and the driver. These are all of your map lighting buttons. This button will release the tailgate. Uh, these buttons control if the dome lights come on or off when the doors are opened. Your SOS and your assist button. Here's your um, panoramic sunroof open. This opens the shade. This will either open or tilt or vent it, which it's currently doing. This will um, open it completely all the way back. And then this button controls the rear slider. So we're gonna I'm gonna close that, which got a hold. Um, and then in front of these buttons, you have the glasses storage holder right there, as well as a three door universal garage remote on the uh, driver vanity. Overall, very impressed. I mean, this is a uh, limited, so you, it's pretty much got every single option. Um, safety feature, I love the touch screen. I love the air suspension, that's really cool. Um, overall, really impressed. Let's take a look at the back seats and see how much room we have. So getting in this truck is real easy because of these deployable running boards and the fact that this truck does lower um, for entry and exit mode. Um, 
But also, if you have like kids uh, and you need to put a car seat in here, with how big these new Ram doors are and the angle that they put them at to open, you can easily get in here and, and do what you need to do. Um, again, beautiful stitching, premium Harman Kardon audio grill. Um, these do have the limited floor liners, but I want to show you the storage box system, which is slightly bigger than the outgoing model year. This plastic liner right here is removable, and you do have centimeter markings on the short side from 0 to 26, and then inch markings from 0 to 15. Very nice. Now, to fold these seats up, it's very easy. There's a little lever right here, you pull it, and it folds up and locks into place. And you can fold this down, and this will actually create storage underneath the seats so it can be out of sight, out of mind from peering eyes. Now, to fold the seat back down, you just pull on it, and you're good to go. Getting in, again, real easy with the step. You do have a grab handle if you need it. I'd say with the seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd have a solid 10 inches of legroom between my knees and the front seat. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger side. Two cup holders with some cutouts for tablet storage. So if someone has a tablet, they wanna watch something, you can just plop it in here and you'll be good to go. Heating cooling vents, both sides. Um, you, the captain's chairs have heated and ventilated seats as well as two USBs and two USB type C's and 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet right here. Again, that blue looking uh, wood continues throughout. Pretty awesome uh, rear seats, premium speakers right there. You do have the LED map lighting as well as some hanger hooks on both driver and passenger side. Right here you have the center folding armrest, which is the biggest one I've seen. Two cup holders and storage back here too, which is huge. Could definitely see myself going on a long road trip in this vehicle. Let's take a look at the bed. So there's a couple ways to access the bed. You can do it the traditional way, pull on this and it will automatically drop. You can go to the key fob and click this button twice or you can push the button by the rear view mirror to lower it. So we're gonna push the key fob, and it is dampened and extremely light. Again, this does have the spray and bed liner. You do have four tie down points in each of the corners, as well as LED bed lighting. Um, aluminum, very light. It's up, I believe all the um, hinged parts on this vehicle are aluminum, so the tailgate the doors and the hood are all aluminum. Let's take a quick look at this window sticker. So here's the window sticker on this vehicle. This limited crew cab 4x4 has a base price of $56,740. All of your standard equipment is going to be right here in this rectangle, continuing over into this rectangle right here. Your optional equipment is right here. I was correct, this is Delmonico Red. This has the level 1 equipment group as well as the panoramic sunroof, trailer brake control, standard regular 5.7 uh, liter Hemi with no e-torque, and this does have the anti-spin rear diff and a 392 axle ratio. The total price of this vehicle is $65,305. Your fuel economy ratings are right here. This vehicle is rated at 15 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. Now, something that I've been seeing a lot in my videos in the comment section is people will say, holy cow, this is a crazy price. I, there's no way I'd buy it. Um, very rarely should you ever pay total price or MSRP on a vehicle. Um, FCA is usually really good about offering um, discounts in the form of rebates or incentives to get people into their vehicles. Um, especially if you go during Ram Truck Month or their spring sales event, which is currently going on right now. Um, I've seen anywhere from eight to 10 grand off total price or MSRP. So all this optional equipment, you pretty much get for the base price price. Um, again, it depends on what time of month you go and what you qualify for, but very rarely should you be paying total price.
I'd like to thank Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough on this vehicle. If you're interested in this Ram 1500 Limited or any of the new Ram 1500s, I will be putting all the contact info in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.